All this comes on the heels of a civil lawsuit in federal court. It gave us for the first time a window into this case that has been in limbo for years. Now forces on both sides of the conflicting evidence say there is much more the public should know. How did 80-year-old Alan Goodman die? Clues are in what investigators call murder books. A typical homicide will fill two of these binders. For Goodman, detectives Dave Petit and Jeffrey Briscoe have compiled nine. We feel that we have, we have everything um, to convict Lois Goodman. For transparency, they speak out now to rebut what Lois Goodman's lawyers have been saying for years. This case was botched so badly by LAPD. Lois Goodman, a 70-year-old professional tennis umpire, LAPD's sole suspect since April 2012. Here for the first time, her 911 call. Hello. Uh, I just came home from work and there's blood everywhere. It looks like my husband fell on the step. A fall down eight steps. On the landing, shards of a bloody coffee mug. What else first responders would find prompted this call. A uh, 93 fire, your incident at 4251. Uh, our unit on scene is reporting a suspicious death. Okay, suspicious? Yes. Then an acknowledged lapse. Homicide detectives aren't dispatched to the home for four days after it has been mostly cleaned. The only photos of the original scene? A few snapshots taken by an officer on his cell phone. Lois Goodman's attorney maintains then as today, the ailing 80-year-old tripped. Of course it's an accident. He fell down the stairs. He hit his head on the coffee cup. How do you there, know that? You know that because you look at the scene. When you hit somebody, blood spatters. That's what happens. And there was none here because he didn't get hit. The blood evidence does not show that. Detective Patik says there's evidence Alan bled three places in the house. Downstairs, on the stove, the counter, the dining set chairs. There's blood on the handrail up to that spot on the landing. Finally, to the bedroom where Alan Goodman died. Blood on the headboard, lamp, nightstand, as far as the window. So how did that get there? Uh, that, I, that, I believe that's blood spatter. When she, when she was striking him, there was no other way for that blood to get on to the, the, mini, the mini, mini, mini blind type shades. The medical examiner determined the death was a homicide. Goodman in New York to work the U.S. Open was arrested. Patik says it was not as depicted by her attorneys, who would later sue, citing her public humiliation. He says these pictures with the TV cameras happened hours later when reporters tracked her to a precinct station alerted through a press release. Now public for the first time, the actual arrest. The only camera present, Detective Briscoe's cell phone. As Goodman headed towards trial, a sudden halt. The DA said they had received new information. Based upon this information, we announced that we are unable to proceed with the case at this time. The DA with a new interpretation of the evidence. Dr. Frank Sheridan from San Bernardino said there were deficiencies with the autopsy report compiled by the L.A. County coroner, primarily a lesion in Goodman's mouth. Sheridan says it's a sign he had fallen. Last month, Sheridan testified as Lois Goodman's expert witness as she sued the coroner for falsely and recklessly finding her husband's death was a homicide. Opposing experts told the jury that lesion was not trauma from a fall or a busted mug, but chronic irritation from ill-fitting dentures. The jury found in favor of the L.A. County coroner, a setback for Goodman seeking $10 million to restore her reputation and her life. We will not rest until this is overturned. Goodman's lawyer Bob Sheehan says the judge erred, barring key testimony, including DNA, that could clear doubts jurors may have had about Lois. Lois's DNA is not on the alleged, quote, murder weapon. True, says Patik, but curiously, Allen's DNA is not on that mug handle either. We feel that based upon everything that we investigated, uh, that the mug, the handle mug was washed and it was, it was placed there. And he's made it his personal vendetta to smear this poor woman. The detectives say there is much more in the nine volumes that they could not show us. Four binders added since the DA dismissed the case without prejudice, meaning they could refile. For the detectives, it is still an open case. What has motivated you to continue on this case? 
That's a good question. Um, every case is important to us. Uh, we, we are the last breath for the murder victim. And we feel it's our responsibility to serve that victim with justice. Back to conflicting evidence, the DA's office tells us today that in the opinion of a crime reconstruction expert they hired, Goodman did die from a fall. So their position on the case stays as it was in 2012, insufficient evidence to proceed to trial.